Okay, I had to show you this. There's the brothers, and there's the sister. She's like, why can't I get in there? Look, look at her. <laughs> Wanna say hi to your brothers? Wanna say hi to your brothers, Lo? <laughs> so we're loading up for a dog trip. And the Jagster is back there. I don't know if he's in view, but boys want to give me a little kiss. Lowly's like, yeah, I want to get kissed too from them. Hi, good girl. Okay, I'm loading them up. So as I was saying, folks, we are headed out on a Wolf Driver on tour midnight motion run. On tour means we travel all over the East Coast. Quite frankly, we're pretty spontaneous. We never know where we're going to end up until the day, and a couple, maybe a couple minutes before we roll out. Um, because I'm trying to get you the Jagster. Jaggy, he's right. Boy, Jaggy. Um, we don't know because weather patterns, what's happening with, especially this time of year, storms, the heat, humidity. We try to look for the best possible conditions, uh, obviously. Otherwise, we can't take the dogs if it's too hot, humid. Thunderstorms are actually okay if we can survive them. The dogs like being cooled off while we run. There's a um, we just saw the little girl get in. She has got some pillows back there. And uh, I'll catch up with you when we know where we're going. Okay, official time here on the Wolf Driver. Watch, 12.15 in a.m. hours. This, I believe, is July the 17th. And we are at Lehigh Gorge. And what you're looking at is Dan's pillow because he's been crashing back there with the pretty girl, lowly Joey. Hey, stay. Good girl. You can't go out there yet, good girl. Lola is chilling. And Zorro, Chase, and the Jagman. All chilling in the dog limousine as we get ready to set up. We just pulled in, literally. This is called Lehigh Gorge once again. So it's a gorge, one way in, one way out, and it is awesome, but it is at night. And it's dark out here, so we're gonna set up some a really cool camera setup this evening. So if we ride into the sunset, it'll be uh, something beautiful. And we are liable, we're liable to do that. Now, I know you can't see anything. Let me turn my light on here. I can help out the situation. Nah, it's not doing much. You listen closely, you hear running water. So that's the Lehigh Valley River. And we've been here before, that's how I know this. We've been here probably a half a dozen times. Again, you can go on the Wolf Driver archives on my YouTube channel, and you can check everything out there from trips from about 10 years ago. We've been here, uh, we've come here as early as 10 years ago. So, truly remarkable what we do and how we do it. Again, there's nobody, I'm not tooting my own horn here, but there's nobody in the world doing what I'm doing. I know there's mushers up in Alaska, in Banff, Canada, and all over, you know, as close by as uh, Michigan that are, that are mushing. And they do run sometimes, depending where they're at in the world, in the dark. But... We're not doing it in that capacity. We're actually doing this recreationally, and we're doing it on bikes, and we do it all year long. So, you know, I get a lot of flack from people. Why do you do it in the warmer months? Well, you can see, it's nighttime out here. We come out here in the warmer months when it's cooler and humidity levels are down, and when we can get into mountainous regions, depending on how hot it is, because it's always cooler in the mountains. Of course, it's always cooler in the evening. And these temperatures are manageable for the dogs, not to go fast but to just at least get some exercise in. And it's an adventure for us. I'm always filming this thing to the max because I don't know how long I can do this. Who knows? Been doing it for 25 years, but in this capacity, and I've been what I call midnight mushing for over the past 25 years, but in this capacity where we travel all over the East Coast of the United States, it's uh, been within the past 10 years, newer. So I'm gonna get to setting up the bike here outfitting it with some, what I call the dog power dog power, outfitting it with some incredible videography equipment that nobody would put on something like this in their right mind, because these are high-end DSL, DSLR cameras that I'll be using tonight. 
that can virtually see in the dark, but in color. I know you all have heard me do my midnight mushing in infrared, and there's plenty of videos out there of me doing it, but in color, where I'm using big cameras because now I have the proper rigging equipment to do it. It's going to be awesome. Check it out. Coming at you soon. Okay, after about, uh, I don't know, an hour of rigging or so, what I call rigging is setting this up for cameras. You can see I'm using a DSLR in front. And this DSLR rating is actually 409,000 ISO. And I got it set for that. So this thing's going to virtually see in the dark. I am going to use a little bit of lighting assistance. Um, if we had a moon out, you can't see. I probably wouldn't need any, but uh, because of the cloud cover, I'm not going to be able to. I think there was a full moon, but the cloud cover is precluding the, uh, the bright beams from penetrating. Got a camera rotating at the top. Again, that's a, third, that's a DSLR, which is, it's mirrorless, but it is still a full frame camera. And I got one in the back. This one should give you a view from behind. So if all goes as planned, I'm still carrying my cameras. I need one camera in that one thing. No, uh, one thing. Yep. Uh, the one transport case, I need Please. a camera. Everything else can go away. If all goes as planned, we'll make it through this gorge and probably, uh, how far is it to the other side, do you know? 15 miles. How long? 15. 15, so that's a roughly a three to four hour ride through the gorge bad part is there's very limited communications if we break down it could be a long night so we're praying we don't um, dogs are in good spirits as usual because they're getting ready to roll a little antsy waiting for me they know the routine Lola, the newest dog isn't quite as clear on the routine so she's a little more hyped up when she's a little young and uh, I'll get back to you when we get these dogs on okay folks official time wolf driver time Around 135. What are you doing? Yeah, he was stuck on his elbow. Nah, behind it. Yeah. But good job checking. So we're loaded up. Dogs are wearing their disco doggy collars. We're getting ready to roll out. What's the official time, guys? Anybody have it? Time to go. 1:33. And uh, here we go. We'll catch you on the trail. Okay, checking in right now at. Uh, 1.97 miles. Again, we are in the Lehigh Valley Gorge. Dogs are doing great. We're doing great. Got an extensive setup here. So uh, you can enjoy the videos, which will be published on YouTube. Quite possibly by the time you see this video. We're on a water break. Dan's uh, watering up the dog. Dan is my co-pilot this evening. And he's an official wolf driver attire. <laughs> In dogs we love, it says. This is in this gorge you can't see now. We're surrounded by mountains and there's a lot of water. The Lehigh Valley uh, River throw, flowing through here and a lot of waterfalls coming off the mountains. A little way, a little, little tiny waterfalls. Might be some big ones too, but it's kind of wild when you drive past and you hear the sound, but you can't really see it because it's not lit up like our bike is. See you on the next stop. Okay, check it in right now, 3.98 miles, and taking a quick breather. It's been a great run so far. We ran into one wildlife incident. We don't know what it was, but uh, the dogs picked up on it, and they were uh, putting mock speeds on the bike. That's where we're at right now, folks. Okay, 7.01 miles. And we just had a wild experience. We had the train, which I've never seen run on these tracks, come by. And I think the conductor was a little, I guess, shocked when he saw us out here. He hunked the horn, and it was nice because he hunked it lightly. And um, we did great. Let me show you how close the tracks are. Hopefully, I won't get too close. But uh, the train, you got to see the video. The train was literally, there's your tracks. It was right there and the dog cart is right there. I moved it over a little bit actually because I was a little closer to it. So we're getting ready to cross the tracks and uh, check out the video, you'll see it on there. You have to cross the tracks here. Rolling real well now. And what time is it, dude? Uh, about three. About
about 3 a.m. in the morning. So if I can get my phone working right here, we'll know exactly what time no, it is. 324. 324. See you on the next stop. Okay, official mileage reading, 9.09 .09 miles. Official time. Where are we at time-wise, Dan? So put on the light and give you a tour. 3.50. 3.50 in the a.m. hours. We got the light going. Got Zaro. Can you see him taking a breather? We got the Lola girl ready to go. We're getting late into the midnight hours. Jagster, Chase. And it's been an awesome trip. Whoops, excuse me, buddy. Video is going to be epic. Be sure to tune into it. And uh, we'll catch you at the next stop. No more trains so far. I'll keep you posted. Okay. 12.47 miles right now. And you can hear the water behind me. Everybody's doing great. Lola, Zaro, coming around the bike. Jagster, Chase, and all is great. Zara had a little cramp up, so we stopped, and his paw seems to be doing well now, fine. And we're going to hit it back, see where we wind up. Wolf Driver rolling on. Okay, 15.34 miles. Official time is 5.38 in the a.m. hours. What you're looking at is the train to take people for a little ride up the tracks along part of the trail we were on. And they run this door in the summer, it's kind of a tourist attraction. It says Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway. So it does go towards the gorge into the, like the center where we were at, where we saw the train, if you watched the video. It's been a great run. Official time on the run was, uh, Check it now. Four hours and seven minutes. So uh, we did real good. Actually, I'm going to end the activity now. And it tells me the stats. And it says our uh, top speed was 11 miles per hour. So that's pretty cool. What we do is uh, water them up before we put them in the truck. They also have water available to them in the truck. Um, just been a great run. Got some epic footage. And I look forward to sharing that soon. And... I'll keep you posted as we uh, get home and the boys and girl get, I guess, a lunch, dinner, breakfast all in one. They'll get two meals today. Normally they get one, but they'll get two because they skipped dinner last night. Great run, folks. Hey, 9.07 in the morning, folks. What a great day. We're dropping off the bikes now. One of the uh, facilities we have, we keep them, I've mentioned this in different locations we travel the east coast so helps us out different weather stored differently and how we do it blow the girl looking good after what was it like 15 miles a good girl they want their dinner or lunch breakfast whatever you want to call it at this point hi good boy chasey hi good boy sorrow and here is the action See him? There he is. In his own little compartment. Notice the water bowls. Fans are going. Air is going. Feels cool back here. Outside, it's uh, piping hot already. We're supposed to get highs, I believe, in the 90s today. So uh, that's why we run at night. So you don't have to stop exercising the dogs. You just find the, have to find the coolest part of the day to do it. And uh, we're headed home now, folks. Should be home in the next 15 to 15 minutes or so. We're home now. 9 uh, 30 something in the morning. 9 35. You can see Chase eats a little better than the pound of food. Frozen nuggets, and there's a patty underneath. And sometimes I feed them in paper bowls. And that's how we do it. That's a wrap, folks. Everybody's waiting for the breakfast. And I'm waiting to relax. Wolf Driver signing off.